everyone's probably familiar with the term baby brain. Women experience quite a bit of forgetfulness and some memory impairment during pregnancy. And in fact, the brain shrinks during this time by as much as 8%. However, the great news is that it bounces back in the postpartum. And there's even some evidence that women that have had children actually have better memory in, later on in life. A lot of the changes are very obvious to our body. Uh, there are a lot of hormone changes. The most powerful estrogen increases by 200 times normal levels. And we're not talking about a momentary increase. We're talking about months and months of exposure. And the increase to actually 1,000 times normal levels by the end. There are four extra liters of fluid a woman has in her body by the end of pregnancy. And it, so it's probably not so surprising, given all these dramatic changes in the body, that you'd also see changes to the brain as well. In light of the hormone and brain changes that occur during the pregnancy and postpartum, there's both an increased and decreased risk for certain diseases. In the short term, postpartum depression, postpartum psychosis, obsessive compulsive disorder uh, is more likely with, with motherhood. In the longer term, there's new research to suggest that women might be more vulnerable to Alzheimer's disease, although this might be mitigated by factors such as how many boys versus girls a woman has. Uh, but on the plus protective side, there are a host of gynecological cancers that women are protected from once they've had children, including both breast and ovarian cancer. Research is telling us that the brains of mothers versus non-mothers differs, and particularly later on in life. It's very important for us to keep in mind that not only do men and women differ, but that the reproductive history of women will play a role in brain health. And I think this is going to lead us to better individualized treatment, not just for women, but for everyone in general.